I'm now going to show you how to begin some basic coding in the Tickle app. Something that will look eventually like this, where we look at the motion, the events and the controls. When coding your drone in the Tickle app, you will begin by using three of the six variables. One of them being motion, which allows you to move the drone, move it forward and backwards and taking off, etc. There are events which allows you to start the movement of the drone and the control which allows you to repeat and ask for your code to continue for periods of time. As you become more advanced when coding a drone in the Tickle app, you might want to use the remaining functions. And here is how each of the other three variables function. You have devices, sensing and operators. Here are a couple of key terms you will need to understand when coding in the Tickle app. Coding itself is a set of instructions or rules and even a type of recipe or a list of things that need to be done. A bug is a line of broken or incomplete code and debugging is finding a bug or an error and being able to fix it. Now it's time to go into the Tickle app itself to find out how to code. Let's go into our Tickle app. and go into, again, our Airborne Cargo 1. Down the left hand side here, you have all of your variables that we've discussed. And the three main ones that we're going to be using are motion, events, and controls. So let's have a closer look at each of those. We'll go into our motion. You can see here on the left hand side, they're all in blue. Motion is basically to write the instructions for the drone or the device to actually move. So you might want it to move forward or turn right or left a certain amount of degrees. You might want to set a speed, obviously to take off and land, keeping your maximum height to two meters, um, move up and down for a certain amount of time, stop moving, flip and so on. You can even ask it to take a photo. Then you've got events. They're the orange looking codes. This is the most important part of your code in that this will actually instruct the, the drone when it will actually start. So you will actually ask the drone to start when you press play or when the iPad has been shaken and so on. So this actual particular section is the most important part because your drone will not begin without its initial instruction. The third one are your controls and this actually tells uh, you can actually load a series of codes within them you can repeat the instruction you can make it go forever if you ask it to do something then it will do something so that's an important part of your code so the three important variables are motion in the blue events in the in the orange and control in the yellow so they're the three we're going to be using as we begin our coding with drones. Now let's start a basic code. We're going to begin with events and I'm going to ask the drone to start moving when I press it. So I pick up the code instruction and place it here on the right hand side. I then want to go to my motion and I'm going to ask it once it's um, ready to go, I'm actually going to ask it to take off. So I want it to lift up off the ground. I then want it to move forward. So I'm going to pick up move forward. And obviously I can change and I have to sort of slip it in there. I can move forward, left or right or backwards. And I can change that if I just click on that little triangle there. I can get it to do for a certain period of time. It might be, I might get it to move forward for two seconds. Then I'm going to ask for it to turn. So I'm going to add that to my code and I'm going to get it to turn right or I can get it to turn left. And by a certain amount of degrees, I think I might just stick with 90 degrees for this particular exercise. Once I'm done with that, I think, okay, I'd like it to actually land now. So I bring over my land and there it's going to sit. So that's a really basic code uh, for you to begin with. Now if you wanted to bring in one of the control variables, um, I'll show you how to do that as well. 
just something to note if you want to get rid of anything that you've got uh, any of your code let's say you want to pick up the whole thing you just pick it up and you'll see on the left hand side the delete rubbish bin drag it over and it gets rid of it for you you can take away individual sections of the code as well so let's start again events I'm going to start my code when I press play I want to actually pop in something for control I'm going to get um, the drone to repeat something for me I'm only going to get it to repeat five times now I've got my repeat there for five times but now I'm thinking mm, I want that to actually take off before it does that so I can actually slip that inside there so take off and now the little set of instructions I'm going to put in now I want it to repeat five times so I'm going to get it. once it's up in the air I'm going to get it to move forward for five seconds then I'm going to get it to turn right but I'd like it to turn 180 degrees I want it to turn around and come back towards me again I'm then going to get it to flip a little tricky move there then I'm going to ask it to move backwards for another five seconds and then I'm going to actually ask it uh, and I want it to do all of those things in the middle there. I want it to do all these things in the middle there five times. Therefore, they sit inside the control. Once I've it's done that five times, I then want it to stop moving, let's say, and I want it to land. And there's another simple set of instructions or code that I can ask the drone to do. And again, when I am finished, I either pick up sections of the code and delete it, or I can pick up the whole thing and send it over to the delete section and start all over again. So remembering the three key things that we need when we're coding our drones in this particular course is motion, events, and control.